Welcome. My name is Ross, Ross Clark, the Mindful Coach. We're going to have a focus for this video presentation for people who are interested in anxiety reduction in a safe and simple way. So our goals are to introduce the online training uh, and to introduce anxiety loops. Also to explain distracting, diverting, and dealing, and then a brief summary at the end. So this is an overview of the online training. The online training will have an introduction. It'll be a process that you just go at your own speed. And actually, the longer it takes to do a lesson, the better. This is going to be mindfulness training, which is easily 80% experiential. So there's more benefit by taking our time, doing the practice every day. That's how we get the best results. And it takes about eight weeks for the brain to actually start to change and make the new synapse connections, and this becomes more of a second nature. So I'll go through this in more detail um, at the end of the video. Next are going to be the anxiety loops. This is really where it all starts. Uh, we have two, two experiences of anxiety. One is a physical feeling in our body, and the other one is the thoughts. And so we can start off and we may have a situation come up, just a thought and emotion. There's a, a certain uh, feeling tone that that thought has. If it has a anxious or fearful feeling tone, then what can happen if we don't respond to it is we'll just go into maybe a habitual overthinking about it. The overthinking causes it to get stronger and it also brings up more unpleasant sensations in the body. And after an hour of that, um, it can be very, very uncomfortable, unpleasant, and it's going to take time to, to come back uh, to being present and being able to, to let that anxiety be. So of the three, we have distracting. So distracting is, it's for something more external. So three of the top ones are going for a walk, listening to music, and watching a movie. And obviously, the type of, talk, type of walk you take, the how present you are in the walking, the walking helps to use up some of the extra cortisol and adrenaline that the anxiety has brought into your, into your bloodstream. Uh, listening to music, music uh, that's calming and soothing and that's uplifting and watching a movie, a movie that's probably humorous or has a really good storyline to it. The next is diverting. So we use the diverting in a different way. So what we're looking at is how we're working with our attention. And where with distracting, that was external. Those are things that we're going to physically do. The Mindfulness, that's more internal. So that's going to allow us to be with the anxiety so it can pass through us and release. So the first stage of that is the grounding. Second is breathing. And the third is noticing. So with the grounding, what we do is we ground to safe locations in our body. There's three main safe locations the toes, the fingers, and the tongue. So this is where the practice comes in because normally we don't think about feeling our toes or our fingers or our tongue. Yeah, there's, there's lots of nerve endings there. There's a great opportunity for us to come back into the present moment so that we can let this anxiety pass through us. The third or the second is the internal again is the breathing. So in our practice with this, we learn to feel the toes. At the same time, we're aware of our in-breath. Feeling our toes, being aware of the in-breath. And again, this takes practice. It'll seem a bit awkward at first. The third one is the noticing. So in the training, we'll have ways to ground 
uh, open and rest in all three postures, in a sitting posture, in a standing posture, in a walking posture, and a laying posture. So this can, can be done in any posture, which makes it quite accessible for us. So the noticing is we notice the sensations in our toes, in our fingers, in our tongue. We notice the in-breath. And what that equates to is being in the present moment. When we're in the present moment, we're not caught up in those anxiety loops. What we have done is we have broken these anxiety loops because now we're aware of our toes, we're aware of our fingers, we're aware of our tongue. We're breaking up this ru rumination of thoughts which is producing more and more anxiety. So the next, the next uh, stage, and this is an advanced stage, so uh, we just invite you to really focus on the grounding as being the main practice. But as you become more comfortable with it, then there's two more steps and practices that you can take. And we could call those healing. So where being grounded, breathing, and noticing help the anxiety pass through, what these do, these reduce the future anxiety. So the first stage of that is just the noting. So if this is Mr. Anxiety here, we just note there is anxiety. There's something special that happens in the brain when we note. We move out of the amygdala into the neurocortex. So that's where we can note there is anxiety because we feel grounded and safe. And we can just say, ah, there is anxiety. We're not getting into a storyline about it. Um, oh, I don't want my anxiety. I don't like my anxiety. That is like a run-on sentence which produces that rumination. It's just three words. There is anxiety. The fifth and last stage is also part of the healing process. And that is where we actually turn to embrace our anxiety. So our anxiety wants our attention. It's, you know, it's there for a purpose. But if we've been avoiding it and pushing it away for years, then it's going to be probably pretty strong and it's going to really need um, some tender loving care in order for it to release itself and for us to better understand what the anxiety is all about. So we can see here, this is where in the process we say, as an example, may my anxiety be well. May my anxiety be well. So we stay, say this in a safe way and when we feel that we're open to that, as I said, this is more of an advanced practice, but the beauty of this practice is it's going to reduce the anxiety that would be there next week, next month. When you turn and embrace that anxiety, the anxiety of failure, whatever the anxiety might be, then we can let it find its own natural size where it's not so big and so powerful and, and overwhelms us. We're just bit by bit, may my anxiety be well, may my anxiety be well. And over time, it'll diminish. So this is going to be the, anxi the anxiety reduction training that we're going to be looking at. So we're talking about, for this training, we're going to focus on diverting and dealing. So you can see that we have just short, simple, little lessons and lesson topics. So after the introduction is done, we're going to explain what grounding is, and then we're going to start practicing grounding our toes, grounding our fingers, and grounding our tongue. Then at following that, we're going to explain breathing, the benefits of breathing, and how that rebalances our parasympathetic nervous system. And we're going to practice that because that's really the key is to practice. Then we become comfortable with it and it's more available. The next would be learning how to ground and breathe. So now we're feeling grounded, we're feeling the in-breath. Again, we're bringing in lots of oxygen into our, into our bloodstream, brightens the mind. The last stage would be, in, in this process, 
of the diverting would be noticing. So here we're going to always ground. You'll notice that every one of these training exercises always starts with grounding. So grounding and breathing and then some more grounding. Grounding, breathing, noticing. Grounding, breathing, grounding, breathing. Because that's always the place where we start. We start by getting grounded, getting safe. And as Maslow's hierarchy of needs said, that's our second most important need that we have is to feel safe. So all this will be explained in, in the online training. So this would be when we move into the advanced. The advanced would be grounding, breathing, noticing. But then that's where we start to note. We start to note the anxiety. There is anxiety. So now we have turned towards the anxiety and we're taking responsibility for it. We're acknowledging that there is anxiety. And then the, the last stage is just the embrace. This is my anxiety. May my anxiety be well. And because again, we're grounded and safe, we're feeling comfortable with this process, we can honor that anxiety. And over time, we'll probably better understand, or maybe not, maybe just the anxiety will just seem to diminish. We'll say if it's a, a fear of failure, which is so big and so pervasive, you may not really recognize any one particular fear of failure because it's pretty pervasive. But what you will know is you are more willing to take on new projects, try new things uh, as the weeks go by. So in summary, distracting is to avoid feeling anxiety. Diverting is to release anxious feelings. And dealing is to reduce future anxiety feelings. So all this um, training will be available in two locations. It will be available at anxietyreduction.org and it'll also be at mindfulnesstrainingonline.com. That's mindfulnesstrainingonline.com. So you can contact me at any time through the week, 9 to 5, uh, at 519-570-8880. If you have any questions or interest, um, I just really would welcome any, any feedback, any thoughts that you may have, or concerns. And... I'm also available at themindfulcoach at gmail.com. So, thank you.